Hi, it's Graham here at Crashtron, and today I'm going to take you through a new feature within the Microsoft Teams rooms called Coordinated Meetings. So what is that? Well, it was originally designed to bring Surface Hubs together uh, with Microsoft Teams rooms as a companion device. However, you're able to bring it together um, multiple acts of Teams rooms. So why would you want to do that? Well, let's say you have two rooms, you want to have an all hands call. So what you can do is just invite one room and it can automatically connect the other room, for example. But I'm going to take you through some scenarios. So let's look at the setup here. So here I have two Microsoft Teams rooms and I have invited one to the meeting and one hasn't been invited. So what happens is when I join that meeting, for example, we'll do that here. You can see that's now connected and that's it. Anyone else can join that meeting. That's straightforward. So what we can do is go into the settings and see what needs to be done. Now this can be done on one side or multiple sides and I'll show you the difference. So here we have a new feature, coordinated meetings, and we turn it on. And on this device, we can choose some of these settings. For example, turn on this device microphone. So this means on this room system, uh, that's in my lounge, do we want this microphone on or off? And we can also decide, do we want to let people choose that as well? And do I want this camera uh, on or off? So let's uh, say this is gonna be the host, shall we say. And obviously whiteboard, and that means that uh, nothing will be um, done here because we're using Microsoft Teams rooms. This isn't a Surface Hub. I need to tell it the other device I want to join the meeting. So what happens when I put in the name of the next room on my desk here, and we add this to the meeting settings here, so the MTR settings, and we save. Now we've not touched the MTR in my office here, so I'm going to hit join. And watch what happens to the system below. It's now calling out. So I have to accept if I want to join this meeting. So that's basically um, just calling out to another system. Because it's got that name in there, I could have put my own Teams account in there and that would have dialed out to my desktop client or my mobile client. So that's very simply a way of, maybe you don't want all calls to be automatically set up. So now let's take a look and see what happens when we populate the second system with the opposite details. So we go to the settings uh, of the system now. Let me go to our coordinated meetings and we turn that on. And we don't want to use a microphone. And I don't want to let people choose because maybe I want this room to be listen only. I obviously want the camera on. And again, I don't need the whiteboard. Put in the room that's calling me. And I now save that. And again, I do the same thing. I hit join. Now watch what happens. The device is added to the system automatically and I can't choose my microphone. I cannot enable it. Uh, it's been forced by the uh, coordinated settings that I can't use that. So even as the host, I can't uh, go to the system and say, okay, I wanna make them uh, you know, turn on the microphone. That's not possible. Just being a listener. So they join the meeting and they can hear the host, for example, here in my lounge, and they'll be able to hear the people uh, speak in the meeting. Again, you do have the features like raise hand. So again, that feature does work. And as the host, I can lower them from the MTR uh, console once a question is asked. So that is coordinated meetings for Microsoft Teams rooms and available now in version release 4.5.37 or higher. So thanks very much for watching. Any questions, let me know. Thanks, bye.